Okay. All right, welcome to Breakaway Pictures. Tonight we have the real cost. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Sebastian, I play bass. I'm Jaren, I play guitar. I'm Sammy, I sing. <laughs> so since this has been your guys' first tour, how's it been for you all? It's been really insightful and really fun. Tour's been really cool. We play a lot of good cities and play with a lot of good bands. Uh, honestly, no day has been bad so far, and like dreading going home. So I just wish it would just keep going. But yeah, it's it's amazing. Can't get enough. I was just curious, like, how'd you guys like put together this tour? Just considering that you all have only have a demo tape out. Uh, so I hit up most all the dates I kind of partially booked, um, but it's mainly just people we met through shows, like touring bands that came through Austin or Texas that we played with, and uh, I would just hit them up on Facebook or Instagram or whatever and just get it going like that. Or people would show interest and hit us up first, which is really cool. But, yeah, I mean, you absolutely don't need to have a record out to tour these days. And, like, internet is hella powerful. And, like, it's all about, it's all about making the friends so that when they come through. Right, yeah, if you make connections and, like, I mean, yeah, it's it's really genuine. Like, it's just actually people we really care about and, like, bands we actually really like. And they happen to really like us, too. And so it, it's pretty great. <laughs> Victor just woke up. Yeah. Victor, come here. So what have what's been some of your favorite cities you've played and some of your favorite bands that you've played with that people should pay attention to? Fullerton was really, really insane, uh because Locke was insane. Um Step for Change was obviously insane. The venue was tiny as hell. Something got broke and I <laughs> pissed someone off. But it's cool now we we uh, settled it. Fullerton was beautiful and it was really cool to get to play a program because that's like something kind of like legendary for us and stuff like just watching the videos that people put out over there and stuff so it's just like crazy to be there and playing and people like there like were there to see us and stuff and it was just like pretty overwhelming for me at least like I definitely like when Locke was playing I was like on the brink of tears because I thought it was so cool um Olympia was really cool the other night um all of the California shows were cool San Francisco was beautiful. We got to play on the beach. Um, we didn't play a show on the beach. We, hung, we, out. <laughs> we hung out on the beach. We did not play a show on the beach. Um, <laughs> Salt Lake City was tight. It's really cool. I think Jaron got them all. Uh, obviously, I think someone said it before, 10's really good. Um, California in general was hella chill. Uh, fucking straight up, like every show for the most part has just been like bands that we actually listen to, which is such a cool feeling. And like, like, like I said before, just everything has just been gotten way better than we ever could have hoped for. And like, yeah, I just like I'd never seen a lot of these cities either. Like, never been to the OC, never been to a lot of Washington. Boise was amazing. It's just like tons of great people in cool cities. Like everything's been rocking thus far. So yeah. How did you all get involved um, with the Mosher's Delight family? <laughs> so uh, I don't know about involved, but we actually sent them a t demo tape at, like as soon as it came out. Our very first demo which was sometime, not two years ago, but maybe like a year and a half ago. And we mailed one into them and they didn't even, like, we got no response back. That's just, that demo sucked, so that's okay. Um, 
But then I guess the only thing that would make sense would be we played in Dallas at the Mindset show, like the final Mindset tour. Uh, we didn't get on the show itself, but Might from Houston played, and they were nice enough to let us hop on. And we only played like four songs just really quick. And uh, John from Monsters Delight was there, and he was just like super stoked on it and took a photo of us and got our numbers. And ever since then, I guess we're a Monsters Delight band is how he said it. Um, but yeah, we got some, some new shit with them coming super soon. I think is the plan. So yeah, really stoked on it for sure. Like that was a label that we were interested in from inception, like the very beginning of the band. So like it's a it's a real honor to be on that roster for sure. Did they distro no rules before? They actually yeah they put my fanzine up before that, which I guess would be involvement and then uh, yeah issue two is over there and then. Uh, Word. What else? What else? Oh, they, and then they put our tape, our second demo up. In the meantime, and then we got new shit coming real soon. Hopefully, hopefully you're gonna record as soon as we get back from the tour for the four song tape. So is it all you guys that do no rules? And so this is the no rules zine. Um, would you like to talk about it? Let you know about it. Uh, no rules is. I don't know. It's just like a zine that I started maybe a year ago. Uh, it's only my second issue. Uh, it's got Fury, Lock, Phase, and Scourge. Uh, really stoked on it for sure. Like I don't know. It's just for me, just a project that like isn't about my music or my shit. So it's just like just a direction to put my like fanboy tendencies into you know what I mean because like I just really like a lot of bands and so it's a way for me to like promote them and talk with them and like meet people and I can like share with other people that make zines and all that shit and it's like it's it's just for fun for me but yeah I'm really stoked on it they should be up on Moshers soon um or you can hit me on the DM <laughs> Okay, so I feel like over this past year, um, hardcore has really grown with hardcore and punk has really grown with like a lot of younger bands, like how like it used to be, and like, and I was wondering like how like how important it is that we have younger bands still in hardcore. Um, I think it's really important that the younger bands like are a thing because like the younger generations are the people who are going to be more progressive than like the people before them and have like ideas that are like I said more progressive than whatever so like there's like without the younger bands like nobody's scene is going to be like pushed forward and no one's going to be like trying new things or like you know advancing the sounds and stuff and like trying new things and stuff um on that note younger bands from Austin enemy one killer army has a pre-demo their singer is like 14 he, 15 he just had a birthday he's he's a beautiful kid Alex Thompson um, uh, I know there's like tons of young bands out there that I can't I'm blanking on right now but like I don't know like older people in the scene are like obviously very important and key in like keeping shit afloat like in no way should they be pressed out or some shit like that but like on the flip side of that I think that younger kids involved in anything but especially hardcore is just like insanely important and like can't be cherished enough because you know, like if that shit goes bad when you're a young kid you'll just be a, like a shitty adult and like I don't know uh, like yeah what Jaron's saying fresh ideas fresh sounds and like just generally supporting like people's ideas when they're young and they have like full heads and like you know what I mean just like and getting stagnant in any type of scene is just always bad so just like fresh shit is like just couldn't get better you know what I mean um what was I gonna say I'm trying to think again. 
Ingrown from Boise it was sick. Um, but I also wanted to say that like if like if you're a younger band in a scene that's fortunate enough to have like both younger bands and older bands like don't get don't get like discouraged if like the older like cool people like aren't like very nice to you at the beginning or like just don't really acknowledge you like if they don't like know who you are or whatever just like you have to keep doing your thing and then like once they realize how cool that that is that you're doing what you want to be doing then like they'll be putting you on and like like you you'll succeed and stuff last thing is i just want to say on a similar note just like like also don't try to like appeal to any of those older heads like if like or don't let them like tell you how to run your shit because like that defeats the purpose of any new ideas that you have like just fully go with what you got your gut instinct your first idea because like no one else is gonna go with it besides you and just like fucking bring it to the world 100% and it'll go like no doubt and like if anything appeal to kids that are younger than you because that's who's going to be growing up and doing the shit that you're doing now like they're going to want to make bands they're going to want to make a scene for themselves they're going to want to just push everything forward and keep the momentum alrighty um What's been some of your guys' favorite food on tour? I'm just curious about that. What's the spots that people need to check out? Tofu Deli in Seattle. I don't remember what her name is, but that is like, I said this. I, yeah, I said this as we were sitting down eating. Like, the lady was so nice and, like, just pure. And, like, that establishment is just, like, probably the most pure thing that ever, like, exists in America as like a business is like if you're in Seattle or in the area it's called it's not called tofu deli but if you look up tofu deli it's like the first thing that comes up but it's four dollar bond me shit is fire she she gave us like tons of samples and was just like so nice and like I want to go back just to hug her um We've been eating a lot of Del Taco, which is suspect. Del Taco, I fuck with you, but, like, I can't tell if it's making me sick. 89-cent burritos is a really good idea, though, so um, I got to give you props for that. Uh, We went to a pizza spot here called Pie Pizzeria. That's a good name. And, dude, what is it? Tons of vegan shit, uh, t- like, just any, like, local vegetarian dive we've probably been to. It was all really good. Um, yeah, dude, go vegetarian. Pita Hot in Fullerton. Pita Hot, Fullerton. Shout out to the Stith Brothers for taking us there. That shit was sick. I'm not going to bad mouth Del Taco, but... I'm going to go back to the Bon Mi place because uh, that lady was so sick and, like, it was, like, a Buddhist establishment. And I went and, like, told her that I thought it was really cool that they had, like, statues of, like, my birth deity and shit. And she straight up was going to give me, like, this statue, like, about, like, from my knee to, like, right here big. And she was just going to give it to me. And it was, like, gold and porcelain and shit going back on, like, how pure that place was it was so cool so what's been some of your like favorite like bands and demos and records that have came out this year that i think people that should be that people should be checking out and listening i'm gonna try not to take up the whole list but uh <clears throat> fury lp <laughs> is the best shit I I really think that the Fury LP is going to be the defining record of this era. Like, you can say that it's not, but it is. And, yeah, the feeling, it's just like, 
so good. It's just like 10 out of 10 record. LPs are back. I think that's really tight. 12 inches of vinyl is just really cool. Um, I think the phase demo is really good. I think the stand-up demo is really good. I think the odd man out promo or something, whatever they just put out is really good. Lowest priority demo is really good. Unified right promo is really, really good. Cash in that check. Oversight Las Vegas is a good band. They had a good demo. Standoff EP is sick. Free at last EP is sick. Those are my boys. Um fuck. Layman demo, I think that was last year, but that shit kills. Yeah. Um, um, um Erupt isn't out yet. Shout out to Erupt uh, from Houston. Lock, Enemy One, we already shouted those dudes out. Crime Watch demo is really fucking good. Um, Nosferatu from Austin, they just recorded something new. Glue LP, maybe? Uh, fuck. Sorry to bring it back to the Fury LP, but Fury LP rules. Fury LP? Fury LP. Um, I think as a hardcore band, it's really, really hard to pull off a full-length record, but clearly Fury had no issue in doing that. And when we were kicking it with Jeremy in Fullerton or whatever, just, like, talking to them about it, like, I'm not trying to flex, but... <laughs> <laughs> It was just cool to like hear them talk about like make like write the, like writing the record and like how they talked about like m- watching Madison like record it and stuff was just like really cool, and hopefully anything that Madison Woodward is involved with is flame. So shout out to that dude. That's all I can remember right now. I know there's other demos that slap. Uh. Bulldoze the final beat down. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, oh. Firewalker, Peace of Mind, Chicago, the Pose record is sick. Shout out Rare Form Demo, Ringer Demo. Step for change. Yo, Turnstile EP just came out. That's one of the best bands. In America. That's it. Take control, too. Anything else? I was just going to elaborate on take control, because Rob is my dude. I love that guy so much. So is there anything coming up that you guys want to share? Anything? Tours? Music? Anything you guys want us to share? Washer's Tape, East Coast Tour. 7 inch Monsters Tape FYA East Coast Tour Billy Club Sandwich uh, There may be some other little things in there And uh, I'm not totally sure And then yeah 7 inch is going to be A really big goal for us In the coming year I'm super excited about it But yeah that's about it Just Now we're hooked on touring so we're gonna try to get some tours in. Do a seven inch. That's about it. Stay alert. <laughs> Alright, any last words or shout outs you wanna share? Any shout outs? Shout out to Cody Pfeiffer, yeah. Ben Redman, Victor Solkowski. Um All those guys, all the bands that have been mentioned thus far, like, I'm not going to do it again, but I love them all. Uh, I Hate Ice Skate label, that's Victor. Victor's been filling in on drums for this entire tour. He's also been just like a great father figure for us, (laughs) and uh, he's been taking real good care of the boys and, like, love them to death. 
He's asleep over there right now. I wish he could be here. But uh, can't can't thank him enough for doing this tour. Um, yeah, Ben Redman is our little guy drummer at home. We miss him dearly. Um, all the Austin youth, the young-ass kids, just, like, ripping it up in every city. Cedric's grandma we stayed with in El Paso. Everyone we stayed with on this tour also has just been, like, amazing to us fucking shout out to again Stith Brothers uh, Ish for change um, Joey Waylon Cat Mags dude shout out to Cat Mags she's lower species I forgot to shout out they're great um, who else have we it's all boring to get at this. Yeah, fucking shout out to Breakaway Pictures and y'all. Y'all kill. We're about to crash here. Um, <laughs> shout out to Sebastian for being too tired to shout anybody out. Um, I know he loves many people. Shout out to... Olivia for documenting the tour. Shout out to Sam Watterson. Uh, hit me up on Instagram at Sammy dot Watterson S A M M Y dot W A T T E R S O N. All my guys in Austin, I miss you dearly. Hayes, Chester, Cole, etc. <laughs> Parker Sheridan, I could just go on and on, so I'm gonna cut this off. But Otis, okay, I have this dog named Otis at home. If you're watching this, I can't wait to see you. All right, lastly, break down the walls or we're not in this alone. Jesus Christ, break down the walls. We're not in this alone. It's break down the walls. Let's be honest. I, w I was on the we're not in the salon when I was in high school but then I'm, I graduated high school and decided that break down the walls was the correct answer once you grow up you'll realize that <laughs> break down the walls is better we're not in the salon I dropped out <laughs> alright shout out to the real costs oh I have to answer it we're not in the salon <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we have a question. Do do loot do <laughs> do. do. <laughs> All right, shout out to the Real Cost. Check them out if they play your city. And check out No Rules Fanzine. Thank you for tuning in to Breakaway Pictures. Do 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 do. do.